Hi everybody, it's Simon from the triathloncoach.com. I'm back again with day two of my little uh, videos where I'm exposing the whole of our coaching process. Uh, so yesterday I mentioned to you about how you go around selecting the right triathlon coach and hopefully you've gone past that point and you've sent the questionnaire in. So the next thing we need to do is to contact you and schedule a call. Uh, at that point we're going to be going through your... Uh, questionnaire and the big thing that we really need to get hold of is your goals for 2015 and your chosen race. So um, one of my analogies that I like to use is that coaching is a bit like satellite navigation. If you have a look on the board behind me you can see I've drawn a nice little diagram. Uh, coaching, satellite navigation. This is my satellite here. Um, you can see the little eyes are looking down. So this is where you are now. You are here. You're at point A. Now you probably decided that you want to go to point B, so that could be that could be qualification for Great Britain Age Group next year to go to Chicago. It could be doing your first Ironman. Um, you might want to set a personal best. Uh, you might want to do something out of triathlon, but this is where you want to be. Now, hopefully, as part of our questioning, we'll uncover the fact that this is a realistic goal. So finishing your first Ironman might be a realistic goal. Winning your age group in your very first Ironman and qualifying to race in Hawaii might not be a realistic goal, but that's something that coaches would negotiate with athletes to make sure that we were heading them towards something that was actually achievable. Now, it doesn't mean that your eventual goal might not be achievable in the long term, but that might make it more than just a one-year plan. Now, of course, you could do all of this stuff yourself. You could train on your own. The thing about having satellite navigation is when you decide you've got to go somewhere from here to there, the satellite and the system will work out how far the journey is and will work out several different routes. Now you can see here we've got the straight line, that's the shortest, most effective route to get from A to B. And we've also got a little dotted line here, you can see that one's a bit more wavy, that one includes a few little side steps and some, some maybe some wrong turns. And also then you can see we've also got this other route here which goes completely off course. And some athletes do end up going down there because they get sidetracked. They see a program in a magazine or a race that they haven't really thought of and think, oh, that sounds quite good. And that's fine if you just want to have a bit of fun and, and do whatever comes into your mind. But for somebody who is really focused on achieving the goal, you need to try to get from A to B as effectively as possible. And that might means doing so by getting the right amount of training, making the right amount of progress to your goal and doing so without being injured or ill or losing your job or losing your partner because you're not paying them any attention. And the thing about the satellite navigation is it watches your journey and it prompts you with turns to make at the appropriate time or it also prompts you with changes to make if you go off course. So if you suddenly start going off down here, it can suggest you make a left turn and get back on course or if you're up here, it'll schedule um, a little turn around, a U-turn to get you back down here. Okay, and if you end up going really off course, then it will plot a new route to get you back towards your goal. So that's how we act as coaches. We are satellite navigation. We will plot your route from A to B, but you're driving the car. We can't do the training for you, but we can provide you with guidance and advice on the right training to do based on all the information you've provided us in the questionnaire, what your current level of fitness is, what your job entails, how many children you've got, how many hours you've actually got to train and recover in your week, okay, and all of the other little things that get in the way between point A and point B, okay, and all the time we're keeping a watch and tweaking your program as we go to make sure that you stay on track and get to point B as effectively as possible. So that's it, coaching equals satellite navigation, that's today's little lesson and tomorrow I'm going to show you how we build the program from scratch and give you all the directions to get you from A to B. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.